Okay. Well, we don't have time to keep going through that mechanism over and over, and I, I think you, uh, you pretty much got the basic idea anyway. But it is important to see how to draw the product without doing the mechanism. So let's just try to draw the product from this reaction without doing any of the mechanism. Let's see if we can go straight to the product. mistake, but then you caught yourself. That's good. Because that would only be if it would attack, like, if we weren't using two different nickel piles, it was only attacking itself. That's right. Okay, good. You worked that out. It's good that you put in some numbers here. That's helpful. So putting in the numbers here, you could continue numbering like this. So your first guess is that we would get that Birdman formation again with the cyclic. Probably that was the most fresh in your mind for the last example. But the last example we did was when the two alcohols were in the same molecule. But here we're adding two separate alcohol, two separate alcohol molecules. So we don't expect to get an extra cycle over here. We just have two separate alcohol molecules. You show that the water left over here. There's no need to say that H2SO4 is a product probably because it's just a catalyst. Um, it was both used and regenerated. So there was no net change in the sulfuric acid. Um, it's good that you're putting in these asterisks in here to show this is the former hidden carbonyl. And the big thing you saw is that after the alcohols attack, they're going to lose a proton, so they don't look like alcohols anymore. In fact, it's hard for people to remember they even came from alcohols in the first place. But we made this with, from alcohols that then deprotonated. Um, so it's good that you got that. And uh, this was really reversible, so I really should have drawn it like this. How would we reverse this? How would we go from this back to the starting materials? adding a supply of acid because we already have the water, so H2O plus water. Uh, let's see. Well, um, actually, in order to, to favor the reverse reaction, you have to add excess water. You oh. can't just use the water that came from the forward reaction. So if we wanted to reverse this, um, or if we wanted to start with this as a starting material so to get these add products, H3O. we'd add H3O plus. Okay. H3O plus is the way to reverse this, and that would give us this over here. So again, this could be used as a protecting group. It's more common when chemists use protecting groups to use protecting groups that are joined like a bird man, but you don't have to do it that way. This could be a protecting group too. Uh, is this an acetal or a ketal? Um, a ketal. Still a full ketal because there's still two carbon chains down here. Okay, so it's important to be able to draw the product without doing that whole mechanism because otherwise it just takes too long to do every problem and it's hard to use this on syntheses. Let's do one more example without the mechanism. Let's just draw the product from this reaction without the mechanism. All right, great. That was fast. That was correct. It's good that you number the starting material here. If you're going to do that, you might as well number the product as well. This is reversible again. If we wanted to reverse this, what would we add to this? The agent? H3O. H3O plus. That's right. Which really means just water and acid. And what's the name of this type of functional group? A acetal. Good. Not a ketal. Yeah, it's a cyclic acetal because now we came from an aldehyde. You can see that because the asterisk has a carbon chain on one side and a hydrogen on the other. And here's where we get the cyclic.
form because we had the two alcohols in the same molecule, whereas here where there's two separate alcohol molecules, we didn't get the cyclic acetone, just the cycle that we had started with. Okay, well, I thought uh, that, that we picked that up real fast. That's a pretty complicated mechanism, and the, the key is now just to practice that, but you have the basic idea. And again, when you get stuck, it's important maybe to take a look at the handout to get unstuck.